Hello everyone, it's Ali. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to make crispy roasted pork. This is one of my all-time favorite dishes. I mean, who can say no to that heavily crispy skin and well-marinated juicy meat? So, let's get started. With the ingredients, we're gonna need two pounds of pork belly, salt, five spice powder, black or white pepper, cooking wine, white vinegar, red food coloring, baking soda, and fermented tofu. First, we will wash your pork carefully under the cold water. Before marinating the pork, we will have shallow cuts on the meat part. This will help the meat absorb the spices better. We're gonna need two different sauces to marinate our pork, one for the meat part and one for the skin part. Sauce number one, we are going to use two pieces of fermented tofu, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of five spice powder, half teaspoon of pepper, half tablespoon of cooking wine. Then we will mash them out until well combined. Sauce number two, we are going to use one tablespoon of white vinegar, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of baking soda, two to three drops of red food coloring, depend on your preference of how red you want your pork to look. So we are going to rub the mixture number one onto the meat side. Remember to rub on the sides too. Then we will marinate the skin side. Use a paper towel to wipe the skin first. Then use a brush or a spoon to apply the mixture number two onto the skin. After that, we will leave the meat to chill in the fridge with the skin facing up and without covering for at least five hours and better overnight. So this is what I got after leaving the meat in the fridge for a night and it is ready to roast. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 200 degrees Celsius. So when we roast the meat, we want to have the skin facing down. So now into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, take the meat out of the oven, flip it over. You can use a fork to puncture the skin. This will have the skin grow thick evenly.
After that, pressure our mixture number two onto the skin one more time. So now into the oven with the same temperature and the skin facing up for another 20 minutes. Next step, we're gonna turn the oven to broil and switch the meat to a higher rack. This will have the skin pop up and make it crunchy. It'll take about 10 to 13 minutes since everybody's oven is a little bit different. But remember to keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn completely. As you can see, it might get burned at some patches of the skin, which is okay. You can, you can just use a knife to clean it off. After that, we're gonna cut our meat and plate it. You can serve this along with noodles, rice, or banh mi, or even just itself. This is also ideal to bring to parties where you might get a lot of compliments. So good luck! Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming cooking videos. See you next time. Bye.